Hi, this is Michael Latham with Finale Inventory. In today's video, we're going to discuss how to create purchase orders in Finale. So we're going to start on the Finale homepage, and before we head into our purchase orders, I first want to take you to our product screen. And today we're going to be working with our red polo shirt, so let's click in here first. And I just want to show you the purchasing section. So here we have our standard buy price, which is our default price uh, for our red polo shirts. You see below that we have our suppliers as well, so I've already set up supplier 1 and supplier 2. Uh, we can also set up a supplier price for them as well, so let's just make this $16. Let's make this $17. And now we're ready to head to our purchase order screen. So let's head up to our purchasing tab and select purchase orders. And we're going to select the blue button to create a purchase order. You see here that we have two options, a uh, system generated ID, and we can also input our own. For today's video, we're just going to use the system order ID. So we see here that the order date is today's date. Estimated receive date, we can make it for the end of the month. Uh, purchase destination, we're just going to use our factory location. Uh, we can also add in our terms, this is optional, but let's just make this net 30 days. Uh, we can select our fulfillment option. Uh, let's just make this UPS. And then requested shipping, we can add second day. So you're also able to edit the build to and ship to information by selecting this blue link here. So you can change the address and the city and all that information. Um, so we see here you also have your custom fields for the order. Uh, these are added in the application settings in Finale, but this is any of the information that's not already included above. Uh, you can add that in here. So we see here we have our contact or confirmation number, also a purchase agent if we want to add that in there. So how do we add products to our purchase order? Well, simply scroll down and you see here that we have product. So we're just going to go ahead and add in our red polo shirt. And we see here that it's already corrected to the standard buy price, which is that $15. And we can also change the quantity. So say we're going to be buying 10 red polo shirts. So we see here that our subtotal is now adjusted for 10 shirts, so $150. just want to show you one quick thing with the supplier. And if we remember with our Acme supplier that the price of our shirts was actually different. So if we select Acme here, we see that our price has changed from that $15 to our $16. You're also able to add in products to the purchase order via the products view screen, which gives us a list of all of our products in Finale. And let's say that we want to add in our blue polo shirts. So we scroll down here. Let's just say we want to add 10 of these to the purchase order. Save our changes and head back to the purchase order. And we see that the blue polo shirts have been added in. So we see here that our blue polo shirts don't actually have a price set up in Finale, but that's fine. We can go ahead and edit that in the purchase order screen by simply double clicking in and heading over and editing this price. So we're just going to make it 1850. And here you see that we can also add in any discounts or fees to the purchase order by selecting this blue link. So let's just say that we want to add in a $20 shipping fee as well. We can do so here. Make that 20 and then click out. And that's looking good for our purchase order. So once we're done with the purchase order, we're just going to want to scroll back up and change this order status to commit it. From here, the next step is to receive the shipment for this order. Please watch the next video, Receiving Shipments Against the Purchase Order, which will show you how to do so. And that will conclude how to create purchase orders in Finale. Please visit service at finaleinventory.com for any questions or inquiries. Thank you.